Hey guys, it's Kavetta. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going over how much we spent in Nicaragua. We spent a total of 10 days, 10 nights, how many nights? 10 nights total in Nicaragua. We went to Leon, Granada and the San Juan del Sur. Again, <laughs> these prices are reflective of us moving super fast through Central America. If you're going slower, it's going to be less. You're not hopping, skipping, jumping to so many different places. And, you know, you're staying in hostels or you're by yourself. Those prices will be different. This is the price for three people, 10 nights in Nicaragua. So come see how much we spent. Okay, so on Airbnb, we left from, we started in Leon. So we left from La Ceiba to Leon and we stayed in an, a hotel. So I booked this one through booking. I'm not, I think it was probably cheaper than going through Airbnb because I do go back and forth. I look at booking, I look at Airbnb, see which one has, you know, a better place that we want to stay and what the price was. So for the three nights in Leon, we, I ended up paying $129 and, um, that is a pain when you get there and they do charge a fee if you use credit card so keep that in mind they mostly want cash if i did pay on airbnb of course airbnb collects the money there so you wouldn't have an issue but a lot of these central american countries if you're paying on booking it will say pay at the property and then it will tell you that the property only accepts cash or it accepts card but when you get there it's like oh yeah if you use card we're gonna charge a you know whatever fee which is crazy but it is what it is in these kind of countries so that's where we stayed it was just a small it was a tiny room you guys it was so tiny um but it was clean uh the caretaker she was nice she, it was fine we didn't have any issues it was a little bit of walk to the center but we were used to walk in 15 minutes or so so it wasn't bad I did, I, think, I don't remember if I did a tour of that one because it was just like a box. <laughs> Nothing was wrong with it, you guys. It was clean. It was newer. We had AC. We had AC. If you have AC in these, look, okay? Whenever you see AC, just be happy and just pay the money. That was what that was in Leon for accommodation. In Granada, we ended up spend, spending four nights and paying $168.89. That place was also pretty decent. Um, it was clean. It was super hot. You had to pay extra, I think like $5 per night if you wanted to use the AC, which I gave in because it was so hot. Like the place was just an oven, just holding in the heat. It was ridiculous. But it was a big space. It had a queen size bed there about and, two, and, and a bunk bed. So it was a lot of space to sleep. Um, it did have a kitchen. But it was more like an outdoor kitchen kind of thing, like a casita type kitchen. So I didn't end up using it at all. And the food was just, you know, it wasn't too bad. So we just didn't bother to cook. But it was a decent amount of space. The um, hosts were great, helped us with uh, booking tours, getting information. So that was good in Granada. And then San Juan, that was super expensive because you're by the beach. You know, it's a surf beach. It's a... All they, they, they come there to, to a party it's that kind of touristy city so that was um pretty expensive at 205 dollars for three nights so you can you can see that we spent almost at least some amount of time there or the same as leon leon was 129 a night uh, for the three nights and san juan del sur was 205 dollars for three nights and if you see me looking here or here i have two things computer phone <laughs> that i'm trying to look at the information that i'm giving you so for the total of 10 nights we ended up paying 516 dollars 88 cents for 10 nights in nicaragua three cities so you know three people and again like i said if you're staying in hostels it will be so much less expensive i'm not gonna say you know i've stayed in a hostel before but they have the family rooms so it depends i didn't see any of those so we just did um, Airbnbs, but I will stay in a hostel if it has a family room and it's not too crazy, like the reviews and stuff. So if you can find those, definitely check those out. The next thing is food. 
So when it comes to food, we like to try new things. But if we find something that we really like, we kind of stick to it. <laughs> and that's exactly what we did in Leon and um, Granada. We just found a restaurant and we're like, okay, yeah. We're going to eat here every day because we know what it is. Um, you know, we know the prices. We know how it tastes and all that. So we just kind of did that. So for Leon, we found El Dese Uno. And I was telling you about that. I found it originally on um google i did the, i found it on the reviews and i just happened to go there like we, i didn't even realize that was the restaurant that i found until i went home that first night and be like oh which restaurant should we go to oh it's that same one so for there it wasn't expensive um i was looking back at my credit card statement i used that a lot to try to figure out you know if gerald didn't write down something properly so a meal, we were paying about $14 for all of us, and that included our drinks. So I normally would have a cappuccino. The kids would have uh, some sort of fresh fruit juice. And then we do like tacos or uh, one morning, uh, Jarrell did, what was it? Pancakes, waffles. I did the typical breakfast. So the bills were rounding right around $13.50, $14 and change for three people eating. So like $5 a person for meal and a drink. So that's why we kept going back. <laughs> it wasn't bad. And then I did tell you guys we didn't eat at McDonald's and that was one of the best McDonald's I've ever had. Like that burger was just bomb. It's nothing like the US. So don't be afraid to try US restaurants outside of the US. It's nothing like it is back home, okay? And McDonald's, we were doing uh, three. The kids normally do like a double cheese. They do double cheeseburger, uh, fries and a drink. So the combo. And I'll do like the... It was this other meat, other one. It's like a double cheeseburger, but it had some other stuff. I don't remember what it was. But for those, for three meals, three combo meals, we were spending $13 at McDonald's. So not bad and then we just do ice creams you know treats we do the supermarket get snacks and um things like that so for food in total we spent 353 dollars and four cents for three people for 10 days so that's like 30 five oh 30 something dollars can't, can't calculate yeah 35 dollars 30 something dollars a day for three people eating you know three meals although sometimes it's like two meals but then we have snack or we get some ice cream or something so you know that was my like ten dollars a person a day to eat not horrible not horrible at all all right so that was food in nicaragua now transport let's do activities first so activities i did the volcano boarding in leon the kids didn't want to do that that was just so amazing you have to have to see that video that was just amazing i love that thing that was one of the best things i've done so far um traveling one of i'm not gonna say it's the best thing because we've done so many things it's like so hard but that was 35 dollars to do the volcano boarding i did the sunset board like i said it came with the party and it came with uh dinner uh, drinks, fruit, snacks, and all that. Um, then Jarrell and I did the lake. That was a beautiful, beautiful, uh, so beautiful. It's a beautiful day. Um, we spent $15. I think it was like $14 per person, but $14, $15 per person for the the lake. And you picked up from, or we got picked up from our Airbnb, got to the lake, we got a spot. It included a drink or coffee. And then all the uh, lake activities like, um, s no, not snorkeling. We went kayaking, uh, tubing, things like that. So that wasn't bad to have $14. And then um, in Leon and Granada, we did a couple museums. Yeah, we did like three or so museums. Those were like three, four dollars each to get into the museums. We did go to the top of the church. Did you see that? The white look like snow it was so beautiful that was um three four dollars for all those kind of activities and then we did go to one free museum lots of um city exploring we walked to the water edge um in granada just walked through looked you know two pictures at granada sign did go through a couple of free churches cathedrals i always try to do that because 
most of them are so beautiful and so easy to just go in it's free it's something to you know occupy your time and all that so in total for yeah and then in san juan we did beach days in san juan so that was good san juan we didn't do any kind of activity that cost us we did the beach day we did the pier what what the pier chilled relaxed um and that the total for activities cost $74.63 so it wasn't expensive and you heard how much things we did that was a lot of stuff for $74 and then we have transportation so transportation we went from La Ceiba to Leon on an overnight tourist shuttle that cost us right around $280 I know it sounds like so much but flying would have been so so much more expensive especially we we're doing it last minute I think it was going to be closer to seven, eight hundred dollars. It was a long overnight drive. We did take our motion sickness pills, and once we take those, we're we're out. Okay. And then the kids had to do COVID test. I'm not going to talk on that, but we did pay twenty dollars per child <laughs> for the COVID test to get in, and then we paid thirteen dollars entrance fee each into Nicaragua. So all that counted into transportation and we just gave uh, all the um tourists because it's just a tour like i said it's a tourist shuttle so it was, it was just a couple of us we just gave all our documents over to the driver and he just went up to immigration and did everything we just went up and be like oh yes how long are you staying you know a couple of days okay and he kept our information we sat and then he just stamped all of us in and <laughs> we were in so things like that it's good to go with an organized shuttle because they know the people and you know okay so for and then from uh leon to granada we did use the public bus super inexpensive from leon to san juan again we use the public bus so you see i'm getting smart i'm using the public transportation because it is inexpensive you will get the tourist price like one uh, price it was supposed to be i think like four or five dollars and then they're, they're charging you an extra two dollars because you're a tourist so you know it is what it is it's not gonna break the bank it's not crazy expensive it is annoying but it's still super inexpensive so in total for uh transport we ended up spending 369 dollars 66 cents the bulk of that like i said was crossing from honduras to nicaragua which was an overnight bus which was just super long so it's going to be expensive so that was not horrible at all so in total for 10 days in nicaragua we ended up spending 1339 dollars and 75 cents again three people 10 days so that's a hundred and something dollars <laughs> My my thing, my thing, you guys. A hundred and thirty something dollars a day for three people. I don't think that's horrible. So like forty something dollars a day per person. That's about what you pay. You see backpackers paying, and we were staying in good places. And if you're staying in hostels, like I said, you're gonna uh, pay less. If you're eating street food, you're gonna pay less. My kids are too bougie. I cannot do them. So, you know, we're going to eat good. I was drinking, like, in Granada. I was just throwing back those macaws. It was two for one. But it was, like, $3. But, you know, you get crazy. You're like, ooh, two drinks for $3? Let me get 10. You know, so before you know it, you're adding up. And then we're eating carne, de, carne asada. We're eating tacos at the fancy restaurant. So, in Granada, we're eating good. We didn't eat street food or anything like that. And in Leon, yeah, we were eating, you know up there instead of down there <laughs> so you could you see and it, it didn't even sound like i was spending that much on food but we were eating pretty decent so that is what we did in nicaragua and i'm gonna try to keep this going giving you an idea of how much we spend everywhere we go so far we spent so much money you guys i think i'm at like ten thousand dollars <laughs> it is way more than i thought it would be over here in central america and it's just getting worse <laughs> but we're having an amazing time i just look at it as you know once in a lifetime just do it whatever i'll figure it out the money will come back it is what it is at this point 
Questions and comments as usual, go ahead and leave them below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.